She a good girl. She knows she a good girl. The bad boy. He's hiding because he knows. <laughs> it's been a rough morning with Tumnus. Uh, the older he gets, the more rambunctious he gets. And uh, while I was doing my makeup this morning, Ty was chasing him all through the house. He was grabbing socks. He was grabbing some of the jewelry that I made and chewing on it. But also zooming, peeing on the carpet. It's been a time. It seems that the past two days, he has just completely reverted back to pretending like he doesn't know anything that he's learned. He hasn't been peeing on his pee pads anymore. He's been shredding everything in sight. He's still hiding. He knows. <laughs> he's like, they're talking about me, I know he it. He knows. And like screaming all night. See, I had hope. He slept through the entire night last night. I'm like, this is a good day. We feed him. He gets up. It's like, okay, time to, time to go to the mat. And I look at him, he's already peeing all over the carpet. You look horrible. Yeah. yeah. Your eyes are like pink. Mm-hmm. Stress. So we wanted to make a vlog about something really creepy that happened to us. Um, was it two nights ago? Yes. Or was it last night? Not last night. I think it was two nights ago. It was the weirdest thing. So this is kind of like a story time video and also us asking you guys what the heck you think happened. But first, I'm going to show you guys the second guest room because we have two and I think a few vlogs ago we showed you the one in our um, main room with like the moon mirrors and like the pink and blue we decor. We have a main guest room and like just the other guest room for <laughs> like the guests we don't like. We're going to show you the second guest room so I'll take you guys there right now. Entering the second guest room. This one is white and gold and kind of yellowish and this is what we have so far i mean it's not a lot but this room used to be so bare so i love this comforter set we got a little throw blanket we got the two um white side tables there we're getting like wall sconces to go above both of them that's coming very soon and i put up these little pictures and they have gold frames and i love them it's like a girl running away She's running towards the castle. And then we have this right here. And above this little dresser, we're gonna have a gold mirror. It's gonna be really nice. But these used to be this like ugly gray pull. And then from Amazon, I found these gold ones. I just think it looks a lot better. And if you guys notice, <laughs> that is from our other video. And uh, yeah, progress. Have you guys seen these kind of candles? They're so weird. So this is like literally, I guess like an oil candle but this feels like slime and it's just so bizarre i've never seen anything like it but i got that from amazon as well anyways that's the progress of the room and on etsy i ordered this gold sign to go above the bed that says sweet dreams it's in like a cursive it's gonna be so nice so yeah that's the update i came back and you're sleeping are you okay tired Okay, so this story time happened during our bedtime routine. So every night since we have Tumnus, one of us has to go and shower and get ready for bed and the other person has to hold Tumnus. So we take Tumnus into that gold guest room that I just showed you. So one of us sits with him on the bed, snuggles him or tries to keep him awake with toys. The other one goes into the washroom. So this happened while I was in the guest room with Tumnus and Ty was having a shower. So I'm just lying in there and I hear Ty showering. Suddenly the shower turns off. He jumps out of the shower and he's like, Jess, what is that? And it scares the heck out of me. So I start listening. And where I am in the house, it sounds like this sad whimpering sound. So I instantly am like, oh, it's probably Winnie, which is weird because she always just goes to bed and she's always fine. She never complains. But to me at first, it sounded like Winnie. Like it sounded like when she sort of cries or is upset. So then Ty like runs down the hallway trying to listen to where the sound is coming from. And then he's like, it sounds like sobbing. 
like someone is crying and instantly my heart like stopped. I'm like, what do you mean? So why don't you tell your side from what you heard in the shower and we'll try and explain what this sound was because it was so creepy. Turned off the shower because I was hearing something a little odd. Started drying myself off. I was thinking, ah, it's probably just in my head or whatever. And then I hear the sound. How I hear it, like as Jesse explained, kind of like a whimpering, but it also just sounded like somebody crying really far off. So I'm scared thinking, you know, at this point we haven't turned on the security. What if somebody broke in and Jesse's freaking out? She's crying. Yeah. So that's why I scream Jess. I run to the room where she's in. She's just sitting there on her phone. <laughs> so I'm like, Is, was that on your phone? What was on my phone? And then she listens, thinks it's Winnie. We go and check. Winnie's passed out of sleep. She's fine. Perfectly fine. We come back, listen, and we hear it again. And Jessie goes paler than she usually is. And we're just kind of trying to figure out what the heck it is. But it sounds like somebody's crying. It's just, to me, when I went into our bedroom, it got louder. And it sounded like it was coming from the vents, like it was coming from the basement. And this time it actually sounded like sobbing to me. It was literally like, ooh, ooh, ah. like someone was in the basement, sitting in a corner, rocking back and forth. This is what I'm thinking in my head, crying. So I'm freaking out. I'm turning on the security. I'm looking through our app history to see if any like doors open somewhere that we didn't know. It all seemed fine. So I'm like, what the heck? Do we have like a crying ghost in our house now? From my experience, I felt like it was coming from outside. Yeah, he heard it outside. I heard it in the basement. Because when I went into our ensuite, I could hear it when I was very close to the window. Yeah. And that kind of made me freak out a little bit because like, is there someone walking around our house sobbing in the dead of night? Yeah, like it's trying to get into our house and they're crying because they can't. A little bit, but <laughs> I figure, you know, they probably scream for help. Most of the lights are still on in the house if there's something going on. Yeah. Like, of course, I try and rationalize it as much as I can. Yeah. What I can imagine is that there's an animal outside making that noise. Like coyotes or something. But it wasn't a coyote house. I know, it That's didn't sound thing. like guys are probably be like you know what guys it's just howling but it didn't sound coyotes, like a howl yeah. coyotes yeah yeah or like make those barking noises this sounded like someone was crying so hard but yeah it was probably animals outside but what's weird is that we have cameras all around our house that can see pretty far distances and when i went onto my app to look at the security there was nothing around our house like you think camera specifically aimed into right, our backyard yeah, into our front yard all right around the house we were hearing it it was such a loud sound that we should have been able to see something outside if it was. It was just so weird and creepy and I could barely sleep that night and I like dreamed about it. It was just really weird Wanted and we haven't heard it. Camera. Unfortunately, the microphone on the camera isn't very good. Probably wouldn't have been able to catch it, but it was like so sporadic all throughout the night. It was weird. It was really creepy. And last night it didn't happen again. So we don't know what the heck it was. And it's never happened before. It could be a wolf, but like yeah, they're but, very rare here. But also wolves have a, a specific howl. Like, you know, it's a lot deeper. <laughs> And it also just sounds like a howl. This sounded like someone crying. It was very strange, but we also know that lately, like since we've moved into this house, every time Ty goes out with Winnie, he sees all the coyote eyes outside and it's like they get closer and closer every time that you go out to take Winnie for- They stand at the border, but you they see watch them circling you. around. They watch you, but yeah. they make like barking, yipping noises. They don't make crying sounds, but maybe one was hurt. Hopefully not. I don't know, but coyotes are freaky. Like I saw this video on Instagram of this guy who was walking his giant German shepherd outside his house and this pack of coyotes surround him and starts chasing him back into the house. And he has a huge dog. His dog was bigger than the coyotes were. Like they're very confident and it's very scary because we live out in the country and obviously like if we're surrounded by coyotes, there's no one to save us. Comment down below what you think it could have been. Do you think it's a ghost? A crying ghost? I don't know why. Our house is newly built, unless someone died making it. Native burial grounds, Jess. Oh yeah, native burial grounds. Isn't that always like... That's usually... But that's like... That's usually the thing. That's poltergeist, isn't Yeah, it? that's poltergeist. I don't want that, so no thank you. That energy, we're pushing away. We don't want that. Only positive up in here. It could have been a wolf, coyote. Could have been... I don't know. The, the vents? The air vents were, were making weird noises for one time? I don't know. We've had odd instances yeah. in that case. We've had like times where we felt like our HVAC system was about to explode. It makes like, scary noises sometimes. Yeah. And always at like three o'clock in the morning. I know. Whenever something creepy happens, we always have to tell you guys, even if it seems like pointless, 
because this freaked us out we wanted to tell you on a vlog so comment down below what you think it was if you're like an animal expert and you know what sounds like something is sobbing let us know but yeah we're gonna get going now i hope you guys enjoyed this little scary update story time video and we'll see you in our next vlog bye see you guys